a distinctive body in the Christian church. And that we have distinctives just as they have. And I try to say to them that our chief distinctive is the Christian gospel. It is that that marks us out. It is that that makes us different. It is that that makes plain and clear why we exist and what we should be doing. Why would we be so frightened of telling the girl in the next desk in the office, of telling the fellow that changes beside us in the pavilion? Why are we so frightened of talking to them about the gospel? Because when we talk to them about the gospel, the power of God is in action. It happened in Thessalonica. The gospel came not simply with words, but also with power. <laughs> But he 
he loved to eat. Do you know the one thing that snakes love more than anything else? Have any idea what do they like to eat most of all? You've already answered one, so I'll ask, I'll ask. He was going to match a very hard match the Saturday that I was to come over the hills of Craig Anta. And I always came over muttering to myself, I have to admit that. Uh, but yet I always went back praising the Lord. Uh, because those prayer meetings were fantastic, they really were. And such a wide uh, scenario of people. There were teenagers there, a number of Billy's dad, uh, the first time we prayed. To which we can subject our bodies. We were talking to Peter, our son in Australia, this morning, and I think the temperature is up around 40. Now I'm still at the stage where I have to do a bit of arithmetic to work out what the temperature really is.
that they may have life and have it to the full. So it's a long time ago since I met this, this friend of mine. But he's been with me ever since. And especially over to you, friend. What's the very first thing you want to know? Yeah? What's his name exactly? Well, here, we'll give you a clue. He's very proud of this hair of his. And you know that he, 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 he fixes it up. Because, well, you all look so nice and neat and tidy. And he wants to look just like you in church today. And if you travelled here in a bag, you would look like that on the bag too. So he would eat a bag. All right. But we'll give you a clue. What colour is his hair? Far too easy. Yes? Yellow, of course. That's right, yellow. Now, uh, do you like long words? I love to get learn long words when I was a boy. So if you could impress people and say that you knew what these long words meant. I'm going to show you three long words beginning with O that tell us something about God. All right, hold on. There's the first long word. Now, put up your hand, the first person who can pronounce that. Where are all the hands? I do not know that. So, God is all those things. He knows all about us. He knows whether we are friends of his or not friends of his. Right, let's get back to this again. Here is a dunce. And what is a dunce? What is a dunce? It's someone who's fully... He sent Jesus his son to die on the cross and to rise again. That was his love being shown for us. Make sure you accept what he has done. We could have met them in, in, in Life Boy Work. Then, whenever I was a student assistant in um, a place of memorial, uh, I got to know some of the young people in the Young People's Fellowship or <laughs> that, but as they, uh, these were all the people that, that we, we, we met. And they asked me, do you think I'm tremendous on and not helping the, uh, the, the world in its defeat? Uh, or its deceit, but rather to stand out against it. And we see that whenever uh, you, you, after the deceit that there is there, we find then the truth that comes out. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go, and the Egypt had gone there. When they saw him, they worshipped him. And right in contact with us as well. So it's tremendous to be here. And even though I have this problem, I hope that at some stage throughout this period of time, God will really bless us as we come together to love Him, to enjoy Him, and to hear about His work that's going on down in Burmaway and Cork at this moment in time. It really is a pleasure to come here every day. I discussed when we would be able to do it, and uh, we came to our arrangements. 150 euro I thought was a bit steep, but he told me if he wanted to go to Cork, that would be much more. So I said to go on and said, come on now. He said, I'll come in the morning. I said, no, I think we'll have to have it now, because if that car is still there in the morning, it's going to be a big uh, traffic jam. In we want to see people want for him. And so we continue to break and understand and take a little walk. I have basically three targets uh, for the rest of this year. We want to start broadcasting twice a week. We're very, very close to that at this stage. I mean, in a few weeks' time, we should be able to get that going. We want to put up a new studio at BBC in Manila, how to make radio programs. Uh, I bought a book from the internet, uh, Amazon.com, called uh, Science Studio Construction on a Budget. Number like sweets. Who likes going to the dentist? Who likes going to the dentist? I don't mind going to the dentist either, I don't like going to the power. Do I have? When I was a wee boy, my sister used to come back out all the time. It really used to annoy me. And I don't like getting. I'm glad to go to the dentist because I have trouble. I have trouble with my teeth. And how many of the boys and girls have been with you for the last hundred years? Who's the other questions this morning? First of all, tell us about your connection with Strand. It's 
started going to the CE many years ago when Norman O'Brien was assistant here. Um, my mother uh, knew a, a friend, a girl I knew from school, and she came and my mother suggested to me such wicked and ruthless men as the Babylonians punish you to deem. Indeed, in that prayer of his, he spoke of God as that God who had intervened into Egypt. That God who had sent the plagues. That God who had stretched out his hand and rescued his people from Egypt and brought them and settled them into the promised land. <coughs> to have a come, Jehovah was the prince of that. Aye. Well, let's talk a little bit about football. Well, let's talk about real life. Weekend sport, I know things weren't fancy here. I know that. Billy Cairns has told me to make sure you're all supporting the fans. And we man was going to watch James Horn play Linfield. And he was walking down Mercy Street just by the primary school one day and he fell over on the way to the match, banged his head, hurt his knee, fell on the ground. God has programmed us. And that's not the way Adam and Eve were made in the Garden of Eden. But of course, Adam and Eve. And like man, ever since, chose their own option. They denied God's loving rule and they've paid the price ever since through death. And that bothers people, if we're being honest. It bothers people that we don't live forever. Death. Now, can, can you tell me what that is? Is there anything over here? It's a hand, that's right. It's just on the top of my head. And if a gust of wind came, just blow the hat away, and I would have to run after it. Maybe it would fall into the sea. And Kelly Fergus just over the, the marine highway. So, Sally, what was that? Get the what? This what? Get your swimming trunks on. <laughs> Christianity is okay if 
you like that kind of thing, if it helps you get through your day, but it hasn't really very much to do with the real world. Yes, some people do have a sense of spirituality, but uh, organized religion, well, that's a thing of the past, surely. Isn't that the picture that is painted?
began this new work. I think I have learned one thing uh, from Stan, two things perhaps. Uh, one of the things we did uh, during my last year, opportunity of attending the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland, our mother church. And uh, on one evening, we went to a reception, one of those rather crowded affairs where you uh, mill about and try to make conversation. I'm sure it was ladies' footsteps sounded like high heels, very high heels. And they became aware that standing at the end of the pew where they were sitting was this. We used computers. Prior to that, I served in the police service for 17 years. I'm from East Belfast. The songs that we use, we use in church, we use to worship God. And we've got a Bible which is made up of lots of different books and a lot of
hiding in a, in a tree oh, about the height of the ceiling. Far, far away. We need to blend better our tradition with uh, <coughs> modern tendencies. Um, I'm enjoying your worship. I hear uh, you're getting married in the evening. Do we not call you out of that? No? All right. Uh, in, in Brazil, uh, first of all, thanks. Then more talk to back. Thanks. Um, one day he went to his shop and he stole a very large sum of money from the shop. The world is changing in so many aspects. It is with many technological developments and changes in working and family situations and so on. It's like all of these, even as we've just been hearing uh, in, in that report from Alan Gar, there's a great amount of superstition in people's lives that it underpins uh, how they act. <laughs> I think that's coming out again. I'm really quite big. And the reason I think my sister bought me cat cow is this. Because cat cows. Um, it's lovely to be home and it's lovely to catch up with friends that have been praying and very much supporting me whenever I've been away. We really want the gospel to come and <laughs> It's not my birthday. I want to talk to the boys and girls. Or a pint of wine today is a special. Are you going to be good? Excellent. <laughs> look, leave alone. Uh, look. No, we're not going to do any packing. I want to talk to the boys and girls today. Let us pray. O oh God our Father, you were not heard in the earthquake, in the wind, or in the fire, but you were heard with that still, small voice. We pray what we at times sing, speak, Lord, in the stillness. While we wait on thee, hush our hearts to listen in expectancy. Our God, we pray that you will help us to hear your voice, to hear your voice calling us to do something for you, maybe something more for you. Perhaps it's the reaching out of friendship. Sure, the treasurer will remind me if I forget to announce the offering. Very glad to be here, friends. I said to Mr. Kennedy in the vestry, 
How long does the service last? And he told me, not telling you what he told me, but I said to him, uh, I preached in first and second money more, which are two congregations. We present ourselves living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service through Christ. Amen. Our closing praise, before the throne of God above, I have a strong, a perfect plea. to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding great joy to the only wise God and our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power forever and ever. Amen.